Welcome. Let's take a look at finding a function that satisfies a couple of characteristics. In this particular case, we want a function whose derivative is 3x squared, and which, when we evaluate the function at 2, the output is 7. <clears throat> so to start the process, let's go ahead and find a function whose derivative is 3x squared. So we're going to use the antiderivative to help us with this. So my function I'm looking for has an anti is the antiderivative of 3x squared dx. Well, the antiderivative of 3x squared dx is 3 times x cubed times 1 third. Now notice that we can multiply that 3 and that 1 third and we end up with 1 and of course we must have this constant of integration. So f of x is simply x cubed plus c. Now we've satisfied the condition that the derivative is 3x squared. We can easily take our derivative here. f prime of x is going to be 3 times x squared plus 0. So now we need to make sure that this function also satisfies the condition that f at 2 equals 7. So f of x equals x cubed plus c. And so what we want is that f at 2 is equal to 7. So let's go ahead and replace x in our function with 2. So we would have 2 cubed plus c equals 7. 2 cubed is 8. So 8 plus c is equal to 7. And then we need to subtract 8 from both sides of this equation. In subtracting 8, c is equal to 7 minus 8, or negative 1. So this means that we're going to replace this constant c in our original function with negative 1. So the function that we're looking for is x cubed minus 1. Now, we've already verified that the derivative is in fact 3x squared. So now let's just double check that f at 2 does produce 7. So if I evaluate my function at 2, I get 2 cubed minus 1, which is 8 minus 1, which is 7. So yes, the second criteria has been met as well. So the function that we are looking for is x cubed minus 1. Let's look at one more example. In this case, the function that we're looking for has a derivative of 2x minus 4, and when we evaluate it at x equals 1, the output is 10. So let's go ahead and start by using the derivative to help us find the function. So our function f of x is going to be the antiderivative of 2x minus 4 dx. So that's 2 times the antiderivative of x dx minus 4 times the derivative of antiderivative of 1 dx. So f of x is equal to 2 times, um, the exponent of x is 1, so the new exponent will be 1 plus 1, or 2. So x squared, and then we multiply by the reciprocal of that exponent, so 1 half. Minus 4 times, and then the antiderivative of 1 dx is x. And then we have our constant of integration, plus c. Now notice that the 2 and the 1 half will simplify, and that just becomes a 1. 
So our function is f of x equals x squared minus 4x plus c. Now, we can double check that we've met the first criteria by taking the derivative of this. And our derivative would be 2x minus 4 plus 0. So the function that we found has satisfied the first criteria. So now we need to ensure that our function satisfies the second criteria. So our f of x is equal to x squared minus 4x plus c. And then what we want to have happen is that when we evaluate our function at 1, we end up with 10. Our output is 10. So we're going to take and replace x in our function with 1. And when we do that, we get 1 squared minus 4 times 1 plus c equals 10. And 1 squared is 1 minus 4 plus c equals 10. 1 minus 4 is negative 3 plus c equals 10. Let's add 3 to both sides of the equation. When we add 3 to both sides of the equation, we get c equals 13. So we're claiming that our function f of x is x squared minus 4x plus 13. We've verified that this function has the appropriate derivative, but now let's verify that it produces the correct value. So let's go ahead and evaluate our function at 1. f at 1 equals 1 squared minus 4 times 1 plus 13. So f at 1 equals 1 minus 4 is negative 3. So this is negative 3. And negative 3 plus 13 is in fact 10. So f at 1 does equal 10. So the function that we're looking for is f of x equals x squared minus 4x plus 13. I hope you find this helpful.